This is a straightforward, simple tutorial on how to use Rattlecan 2, which is included in the PT2 GitHub link. Rattlecan 2 is a powerful tool, an alternative to P2M or E2M, which includes clipping, hollows, prop to hollow, decals, and much more. In this, I'll be starting with the basics, all of which are included in the guide. But for those that need a more comprehensive read through, this is for you. We'll begin with the simple starts of scheming the locomotive. First, we'll begin by opening up the expression to you tool and navigating to the search menu. From there, we will type in Rattlecan. You can open the Rattlecan ship by double clicking and letting it load in. Once it's loaded in, you're good to place it on any spot of the locomotive. The position of the chip in and of its own is not important. Put in a place that is accessible, go to the wire tool, click once on the rattle can, and wire it to the base prop that you'll be modifying. When successfully wired, go into chat and type .ed. This will open up the editor. The first step you want to take is doing .create clip. This will create a clip. The simplest way to visualize what clips do is by drawing a line. This is one clip. You put a clip underneath and another clip. You'll map out your scheme. With this, you can map out sections, which fill it out almost like the paint bucket tool and a paint program. Once doing dot create clip, your clip will spawn at the midpoint of the locomotive. It'll look like a green rectangle. At this point, you can grab the clip and start modifying the scheme and mapping it out onto your locomotive. The way you position the clips is not important, but it can be varying on difficulty of the scheme you wish to achieve. For this one, I'm using Fizz Gun. I orientate the clip where I would like the first line of my scheme to be. I leave it here and create another clip. With this clip, I'll orientate it to a horizontal position. This time, I'll be using the precision tool. With the precision tool, I will hold E to lock onto a grid section. I will go to locomotive and find a place where I want to lock in at. You can move the clip this way too, for a more precise measurement. Moving on from clips, we'll be focusing on the dot create section function. This will create a section that you can dissect using the clips. Take your crowbar out and press E on the top or bottom of a clip that you desire to cut. The clips act as scissors cutting the section. In this case, we have the med section carved out. Once we have our first section mapped out, we'll create another one. These will overlay on top of each other until clipped using the clips. This time, I orientate it towards the dot position. Then I type dot color to differentiate it. Dot color will color in the section that you're using. If you deselect a section, you'll create Z clipping like this. Which is why it's important to know you can go to SS list. It will let you know all the sections provided. It'll list its color. So if you get stuck, you can do SS, in this case, one, and go to the top position, cutting it again while it is selected. We will finish this simple scheme with one more section at the end. Near the bottom, we'll press the clip again. Using the color function, we will color it again. This is your most basic form of scheming in Rattlecan. It is important to save frequently, but Rattlecan has an autosave function, you cannot rely on it. Do not save with a name of your creation behind it. It will save it to the Rattlecan auto list. From there, you can type .op to loading your scheme. When unfrozen, the scheme will follow the locomotive with no problem. So you've created a basic scheme in Rattlecan Doom. In this next section of the video, we will go over decals, hollows, tax 2D, and submaterials to cater towards your own railroad and customize as desired. First, we will focus on some material editing. Using the submaterial tool, navigate to what you want to modify. 
In this case, we'll be changing acrylic to acrylic gold, but only for one section. We'll pull out the crowbar and select the desired section by pressing E on it. Navigate the locomotive submaterial tool and find the submaterial you'd like to modify. In this case, it's acrylic. Its position in the submaterial tool is 3. But, due to reasons that I can't fully understand, you'll type submaterial 4. There will always be one above. In Chan, you can type dot submaterial number with the file path towards the texture you want to use. In this case, I just applied acrylic gold onto the acrylic submaterial. This changes acrylic to acrylic gold on the locomotive texture for only the selected section. Next, we'll be focusing on hollow props. Find a prop using the search function. Right click on it to copy the file path to the clipboard. You can then use the chat function, create hollow with the file path to create a hologram of the prop. All hollow props text 2D, text 3D, and decals will be displayed using a translucent white box. The white box can be moved around just like clips, and it can also be affected by clips. If for some reason you've chosen the wrong prop, you can simply do dot model and change the file path of the prop on the fly. In this case, I'll be sticking to the original. Just like clips, holoprops can be moved by Fizgun, Precision, or any other movement that you use otherwise to move a prop. In this case, I'm using Precision Tool. Locking onto a grid, holding E, and positioning by holding E2 onto the locomotive. Holoprops can be colored and submatted the same way sections can. Use the same functions, dot color or dot submat previously explained to change anything about a prop. Using the dot create text 2D function will spawn a text spawner. Now when it is spawned and selected, you can do dot text creating any text of your desire. You can position this the same as a prop as previously explained. The dot color command is also available for this function, as is the dot scale function. The scale function can scale up or down your decal, text, or prop. Using the dot mirror function will create a mirror. The object selected will be mirrored on the other side of the model. You can use one mirror for multiple items, including text, props, sections, decals, and more. To use the dot decal function, find a texture file path, copy it to your clipboard, and do dot decal file path. You can position this the exact same as text 2D. Rattle can comes with a built-in prop to hollow function, meaning if you put props onto your locomotive, you can make them hollows using the function. Begin by typing dot pth into chat. This will enable prop to hollow mode. With the crowbar, select all available props with E. When all props have been selected, do dot PTH save. And when you are done, do dot PTH again to exit the mode. Your selected props have now become hollows, which you can modify as you wish. With all steps successfully done, you have now finished the very beginnings of your basic Revocan locomotive. You've gone from zero to hero. Do dot save with the locomotive and advance dupe 2 to finish.